Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. Grab your egos. Season two is coming. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. Grab your egos. Season two, Stranger Things. Let's break it down. HP Lovecraft, eat your heart out. The great god Cthulhu, tentacles coming from the sky. I totally love this. So this is just the beginning. There'll be a lot more season two Stranger Things happening. So be sure to subscribe to get everything. And if you think of anything that you really want me to do a bonus video on while we're talking about this trailer, just let me know in the comments below. So a lot of you probably saw the teaser picture of the Ghostbusters. This is in 1984. That's the year that Ghostbusters came out. So this is a year after season one, but the dimensional portal is still open. Will came back coughing up those slugs from the upside down world. In the teaser language that Netflix has been using is that the world is upside down, the entire world. The big monster at the end with the red clouds looks very War of the Worlds, so it's almost like our world is now becoming or being taken over by the upside down world. So there's the will thing too, like is the things that he's drawing turning into actual things. So he draws the picture of the Demogorg, the Demogorg manifests. Does that mean that he is also creating all these problems too? Because there's a drawing of that big giant monster that we see at the end of the trailer. So a lot of people felt like the fact that Will didn't come forward and ask for help when he came back, when he was coughing slugs up, is because it had happened in the past and he didn't want to be taken away. But Eleven is back, they left the egos at the end, so that kind of told you that she was coming back. I don't think that anybody actually thought that she was dead, but they opened this with the funny ego trailer preceding her, so it just meant to remind you that this takes place during the 80s, get you in the mind of that time period. The other big theory about all this craziness, the upside down world, the Demogorg, was did Eleven have some responsibility in creating it? Because it always seemed to stay in proximity to her whenever she showed up, it seemed to show up. She made it vanish by taking it back to the upside down world herself. <laughs> So she's connected to the upside down world in the same way that Will is. They just haven't explained that yet. It's one of those things they have to pay off in season two, this alternate dimension, because I actually do think that it is a real place and it fundamentally changes the people that spend time there for any extended period. So with the dimensional portal open, a lot of those things will be running loose on earth. There you get your Ghostbusters, but also people will be changing themselves. So the whole season is supposed to address the consequences of Will spending that week in the upside down world. All this crazy stuff at the Department of Energy. They added a couple big cast members too that are big callbacks to 80s flicks like this. There's Paul Reiser from Aliens making you think about the Demogorg, like wondering how much Ridley Scott craziness is going to be happening. And Sean Astin from Goonies. So of course it's going to be awesome. They released this viral teaser that tells you a storm is coming. A lot of people decoded it and thought that it meant that the season was going to be dropping September 8th, 2017. But they actually revealed that, you know, Ghostbuster cosplay Halloween costumes are really more of a hat tip to the release date. So it's actually coming on October 31st, Halloween this year. So that's when all the episodes will drop. They're really blending the idea of what is real, what is fiction, what is the game. So the fun Easter egg really from that first episode, if you go back and rewatch the series, is that the game they play, the Dungeons and Dragons, almost tells the exact story of what happens during the entire series. 
shadow grows on the wall behind you, swallowing you in darkness. It is almost here. What is it? What if it's the Demogorgon? Oh, Jesus, we're so screwed if it's the Demogorgon. It's not the Demogorgon. An army of troglodytes charge into the chamber. Troglodytes. Told you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you hear that? That, that sound. Boom. Boom. Boom! <gasps> that didn't come from the troglodytes. Oh. No, that, that came from something else. Demogorgon! We're oh, deep shit. Will, your action! I don't know. Fireball him! Oh. have to roll a 13 or higher. Too risky. Cast a protection spell. Don't be a pussy. Fireball him! Cast protection. The Demogorgon is tired of your silly human bickering. It stops towards you. Boom! Fireball him, I Will! Stop! Boom! Cast Wait. protection! Fireball. It was an anger! And Fireball! Yeah. And Fireball! Oh, Where'd it go? Where is it? So they might lay Easter eggs in the first episode of season two that way where they have some sort of moment or a game or a conversation that foreshadows everything that's going to be happening. But Netflix isn't holding back anything. They have these teasers where they say monsters are coming, they're dressed as Ghostbusters, so there are going to be lots of demagogues running around, people turning into monsters, things going crazy. It's going to be awesome. In Get a Load of the Episode titles, they've already released them all. There's nine episodes instead of eight like season one. So episode one to episode nine, here we go. Mad Max, The Boy Who Came Back to Life, talking about Will, The Pumpkin Patch, The Palace, The Storm, talking about these red storm clouds, The Polywog, The Secret Cabin, The Brain, and The Lost Brother. So we can talk about what those episode titles might mean in future bonus videos, but I will be doing a couple season two videos, as many as possible. It's a little harder to do videos for every single episode, for something that drops all at the same time. So usually like with the Marvel Netflix stuff, I have to change the way I do the videos just a little bit, but it's a long ways off. We're gonna be geeking about this all year. It's gonna be great. Let me know, like what are all your guys' questions in the comments below? It's one of those series that's very ambiguous about things. So it just lends itself to a lot of theory crafting. There are a couple newer, younger characters. The title, The Lost Brother, might be one of those new, younger characters. But they'll probably reveal a whole bunch more information through the rest of the year. So I'll do new videos as they reveal stuff. But let me know, what do you guys think about this? I know everybody was freaking out about it just because it seems so crazy by the end. Just remember, you know, David Cronenberg, anything from the 80s is fair game in terms of genre. In other related Netflix news, Iron Fist is going to be dropping March 17th. Of course, I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos for it. There'll probably be a new trailer very soon in the next week or so. So just look out for that. And if there are any Iron Fist or Marvel Netflix bonus videos you guys want me to do, also let me know in the comments. There's a lot of Netflix stuff coming in addition to all the regular TV and movie stuff. It's going to be great. While you wait for that, you can click here to rewatch that Guardians 2 trailer, and you can click here to rewatch the Iron Fist trailer. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody, let's high five. I'll see you in the next video.